Love train rolling on through. Choo choo. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Where we last left off, we completed another mission and actually found a unique phenomenon that occurred in Shinjuku and, well, actually also was reacquainted with a familiar face. Now, where are we gonna go? Well, I don't know, but we'll figure it out, won't we? I haven't picked up any cases lately. I'd better take up a few before Kyoko forces me. Alright. Nope. What do we got? Oh, Jesus. There's very odd questions that come up here. But I'm guessing they're trying to phrase them in a way that allows for, you know, you to feel like the Digimon are actually talking to you and asking questions. It's just a little weird. Alright, let's see. Gaumont's property. A life crisis. And Broadway on fire. Uh, you know what? Let's do... Some side questing here. That is in Quan Lu 2. Alright. Let's do that real quickly. You know, let's go ahead and level up our Digimon as well. Alright. Quan Lu, uh, Quan Lu, level 2. What's up, Gaumon? This is a bit embarrassing, admit, but I lost my precious thing. Oh my. Somewhere. And it's making me super sad. Aw, oh, Galmon. I was wondering if you could go look around about, oh, I don't know, Balloon Level 2. If you find it, I'll give you something fancy in return. What do you say, please? Alright, let's go look for your, your lost item. Walk around a little bit and see if anything is twinkling, because that's probably what it's going to be. It's going to be a twinkling item somewhere around. Will we find it? Um, I really don't know, but we're going to look for it. That's for dang sure. Position for the camera. At you. Are these battles necessary? No, because these Digimon are very low level. But we're gonna fight them anyways. Good Digimon can use the levels. I think that's one of the main reasons why we're doing this. Is, well, for levels and side questing. We don't need the money, that's for sure, in this game, because we have plenty of money in the game. But there is going to be a point where you're going to want to grind, well, I'm going to want to grind out a lot, and that's probably not something that I'll do in the video, it's just, uh, it is going to be important, because there's going to, like I said, there's going to be a point in the game where you're going to need to grind out a lot for levels for your, your partners. Especially if you want the perfect team. Yes, yes, Goblin Mon, we're going to kill you too. Bye. I don't think any of these Digimon really need the level. Thing that we're looking for here, so we'll keep going. I 
I'm sure it's going to be around the next area. I swear, if it's somewhere closer, I'm going to be so annoyed. But it's fine. It's part of a side questing. And, you know, I'm kind of happy with the fact that I have the twin brother um, Battle Digimon, which are which is Terrier Mon and Lopmon, and their Digivolution, which is Tudidimon and Gargomon. Which, you know, they essentially represent uh, long, long range versus short range. We just found Galmon's stuff. Alright, cool, we can leave now. Oh, listen here, Goblin Mon. I don't have time for your nonsense. We're gonna take you down. There we go. We found Galmon's stuff, and we have to return it to him because he's sad. We don't want Galmon to be sad. Oh dear. What? One of the Digimon is responding. It was the digit line. Okay, Ruby is the answer. Okay, whatever you say. Honestly, personally, I think a essentially effectively extinct mineral, which is Alexandrite, which I believe you cannot find naturally occurring anymore. At the very least, they haven't found naturally occurring Alexandrite in a long time. You think that'd be worth more than rubies? And again, the, the the jewel market is an entire racket in its own right. So that's not exactly what we're talking about. Galmon, we've got your precious whatever the hell you lost. Someone's property, there you go. Well, thank you for the reward. I'm gonna double check to see if we can digivolve any of the Digimon that we have currently. I don't think we can digivolve any of you, no. But you, we can digivolve into Gold Numamon. Which is what we're going for. And you and you as well, because from Gold Numamon we want Platinum Numamon. Which will take level 65. That's gonna take a while. But if I remember correctly, Gold Numamon do have a added ability that essentially gives us extra gold as well as experience points or something along those lines. Either way, it is something that we wanted to do. Actually, I can check out their abilities right here because they're still in the team. Gold Numamon. They have Gold Rush. That's not it. <sighs> I think it might be in their description in some way. Oh, there it is. Their special uh, millionaire right there increases yen earned in battle. 
Alright, so that's really all that gold Numamon are good for until they turn into Platinum Numamon. And Platinum Numamon is what we're going for because those are the Digimon that give us experience points boosts, which help us develop our Digimon quicker. Which is very, very important in this game. Alright, so we got one. Done. We got a medal, we got some stuff. Tracking down lost objects is among the most basic skills any good detective has, so make sure you're always staying on top of those cases. Okay. I guess you're proud of me. Alright, what's this one? Broadway on fire. Client, Chinese restaurant owner, Broadway floor one. Something is wrong with the Broadway air conditioning. It's just way too hot. Alright. Let's go check this out. See. Hello, are you the new recruit at the Kurami Detective Agency? I'm the owner of this Chinese restaurant. The past few days, the AC in the Broadway building seems to have gone out. Can you feel it? It's too hot, right? Ain't that weird. The air conditioning is on, but it's still so hot. The thing is, this is a problem throughout the whole facility. The other restaurant workers say they won't work now. I'm in a real bind here. I'm losing customers over this. More and more people are ranting and raving about the heat. My daughter is at a rebellious age, won't talk to me, comes home late, and then there's this stupid boyfriend of hers. It's not really helpful here. Sorry, sort of went off topic there. Let's get back to the issue at hand. Yeah, you did. So recently a repair guy came to take out take a take a look. But the strangest thing, there's no problem with the AC at all. So when I went to try and talk it over with Kyoko, she said, the new detective can figure it out. Do you think you could figure it out? It's okay, I've dealt with this thing this kind of thing before. Yes, when the building went cold. Anyway, I think you could take a quick look at the AC. Much obliged. Alright, let's do this. That reminds me, sometimes you can hear a strange noise coming from somewhere near the K Cafe on the fourth floor. It's probably nothing. Okay, so let's go to the fourth floor. Move, you're in my way. Get your ten bucks, we just gotta go to the K Cafe. Try to go to the fourth floor. Uh, to the stairs here. Nope. Not the right way. I, I think, but all right. All right, coffee building. Let's go into here. It was a bit. Maybe there's a good chance that there might be something here that is the problem. Not that we fought all of you before. Yeah, because this is the only thing that was mentioned, anyways. Although, I'm gonna see. I don't know. There might be an instance that I need to talk to somebody, but we're gonna do a quick look over everything here. Yeah, you're going down. Easy pickings and easy levels. Cool. Nothing here. Battle. Oh, my God, there's only small Digimon here. I feel bad, kind of bad that we're just beating up on him. But then again, they are programmed that chose to attack us. There are Digimon that chose to attack us, and we are just, you know, we're just defending ourselves here. And that's just fine, in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Bye. 
Beastman do like Digimon who wears a long coat. Poncho Leomon. Obviously. All of the Bancho Digimon, who all share that title, which essentially to them means unbreakable, indomitable, all wear the same coat, essentially. Which is the Bancho style, which, which is based off of, you know, Japanese punk style. Or delinquent. You know, like Jotaro from JoJo's Adventure. Alright, cool. I wasn't trying. I think I was trying to press something. And we're gonna go through this entire computer to find out that there's somebody that we need to talk to first before we came in here. I kinda get the feeling that it's gonna be the case. No, there's just a blue Marimon that we need to fight. All right, let's go. Crackle, crackle, fume, crackle. Hey, you over there, what are you looking at? Huh, what am I doing? Isn't it obvious? I think I'm having it out with Marimon. I think I'm having it out with Marimon. Did you know that guy calls me Marimon Mark II? Can't you tell just by looking? Should it explain? Oh, good God. Which doesn't make sense that Marimon is picking on Blue Marimon because Blue Marimon is an ultimate level Digimon, technically. Which this is going to be a little bit difficult now that I think about it. Uh, let's try this attack. Come on, Corrigan. Ooh, nice. Actually, that's not bad. Uh, Comet Hammer. Come on. Damn it. We don't have a dual, a double. Shit. Alright. Still did good damage. Ow. Kick your butt. Nice. Level them up. That helps me. The Digimon that caused this doesn't seem to be around anymore. Let's go tell the client. Alright. We should be good here now. Yes, we fixed it. We kicked butt. Yep. Oh. And yes, there was a Digimon in the AC unit named Blue Metamon, and we kicked their butt. You don't really need to understand. Yeah, go, go. Stop overcompensating. Go fix things. Alright. Now we can return. With another. Another case done. Speed attachment E. I wonder what that means. What do you say I pour you a cup of coffee? We're good. Your coffee's weird. Alright then. A life crisis. I lost a gear. Click, click. If I don't find it, I'll die. Help. How to go to on Broadway floor what? Wait, what? Where the hell are we supposed to find you? We're on Broadway floor one? I thought we might not be actually. Yeah, no, we are on Broadway for one. So where the fuck, where do we find Haraguruman? 
Alright. Well. I guess we're gonna have to walk around. Alright. What does the digital line have to say? Yes, I knew it was Metro Leomon at least. I didn't know rubies are the most expensive gem, but whatever. What? I'm actually a hacker in Eden? Alright, whatever, dude. We're not looking for hackers, we're looking for Harugurumon. No, that's not what we wanted to do, dang it. The Waymon. See, that's for the map that leads out. Ooh, there you are. We found him. Hey, how to go to Iman? You're the one who took the case? Yes. To tell you the truth right now, I'm not feeling too good. I'm probably just about to die, so I don't know. One of the cogs that makes up my body is lost somewhere. It should be somewhere in this dungeon. Alright. Bring it to you as soon as possible. Really? This... All right, let's do this. Let's see how much damage we can do with normal attacks. I'm not, you know what? I'm not, I'm not mad at the challenge because at least this means that we can actually get um, better experience in this battle or in this area that we're battling. Ow. And of course, there is Dorumon right there, and that is a Digimon who said I really do want to be able to add them in my team. Let's take down Dorumon. Who is one of my favorite Digimon of all time. I think we might get our ass out to us. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. You know what? We're not doing too bad. We're not. Ooh, nice. Everybody getting a level. I wonder if it level... Is it level 26? Or I think it was at level 28. So we'll keep going. I swear, this is just some weird puzzle. Either or each one of these areas only go to one thing. It is some weird puzzle. Uh, alright. We'll figure it out eventually. Somehow. Alright, so it's obviously not that one. What about this one? I mean, there's only so many choices. I'm not... Maybe it's that. Maybe it's that. Is that the gear? No, that's speed attachment. Where does that take me? It takes me here. Don't know where here is. Uh, oh. No item that I need there. Oh. It's Night Mod. Ooh. <coughs> Should probably use a skill. That didn't do a lot of Ooh. Oh, shoot. Okay, you can hit everybody. Not cool. Come on. Ooh. Did not do the amount of damage that I wanted it to do. You do the most amount, too, damage. Alright, let's 
try something else. Ha, paralyzed. No, not wind claw. Uh, maybe blue breath? Oh yeah, that should kill you. This is definitely gonna kill you. Ooh, okay, the attack animation there was pretty freaking cool. That didn't kill him, but this will. There we go. Ooh, yeah, and everybody gained a level. Well, not everybody. Okay, uh, all right, we're gonna take that teleporter. So, you know what? Let's take this one again. I didn't take the teleporter that is straight across. The, uh, well, not straight across, but this one. I did not take a, this one. And where do you take me? You take me here. Where does that take me? Dude, I am just looking for a fucking gear, okay? There's so many places to be teleported to. Alright, Night Vaughn, you bastard. Alright, that again. Again, I love it. Because the attack animation when you're using like a special attack, it looks really cool. Like that. Although that damage was not good. Defense down was good though. There we go. Break net. Paralyzed, yes. That and out of all of them is my most powerful attack. Now, I have to heal everybody after this. The fact that they didn't kill you is annoying. Everybody? Everybody? No, not everybody. Yeah. Yes, leveled up, leveled up, leveled up. Alright, no, we don't need to use an item to heal everybody then. <sighs> I'm hoping that this is where the gear is. Yes, there's the gear. There you go. No problem, Haraguru man. I'm glad to help out. Now, once again, I'm gonna go to the Digilab real quickly. Bank the digit ball. You. Blue Maramon. I do not want to. Oh, level 30. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Both of the ABI needs to be 10. Speed needs to be 95. But they're not even at high enough level yet. Y'all need to be level 30 before I can even do, consider it evolving. Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to check. Alright. Those are all of the side quests done! And we have another entry point for Digimon, and that's stronger. Those are stronger Digimon to fight, too. So, I'm happy with that. Alright. Great work. What do you say for you? No more co- No, no coffee from you. Uh, I want to see some of the items that we have, because there might be something that I can use that might help me out here. Usable items. Else 
sprays. Trying to see if there's any of these are permanent upgrades. Increases cam by 10. Ooh, these are permanent upgrades. I know that for sure. No effect. No effect. Okay. Those are attachments for speed. Yeah, because these are all equipment, so they don't do anything. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's all. I don't, I don't have anything that can help out at the moment. Let's talk to Kyoko. Have you ever been to Shibuya Scramble Crossing? It's definitely something you should at least see once. The terrain there is fascinating. Huh. Well, we completed everything. Or all the side quests, at least. Let's see. Let's go to the Digi Lab real quickly. And talk to Mirai. What? Um, but I did all the quests, all the case, all the cases are done, right? Well, let me go double check. I'm almost certain that I did all the cases. Maybe there's somewhere I need to go to. Maybe I need to go to Shibuya. I thought it wasn't Shibuya. Yeah, no, these are all done. All right, let's let's go. There's a few places that I can check out. You know that, or an event's gonna, or, you know, something's gonna show up. You can go to Shibuya now. Okay, well, that's, if that's not telling me to go, if that's not telling me to do something. Oh, look, there's someone to talk to over there in the middle of the road. Hello? Why are you in the middle of the road? Pitiful high school girl. Why does nobody pay attention to me? Never notice me. Not one person. But woe to thee who find the entrance there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. For it... Uh, for if you make it, you only meet despair. Okay. Creepy. I should see if there's a new case to investigate. All right. So, do, okay. Before I go, I don't want to leave here and think that you know maybe there's something else there. But let's see, is there anything to encounter here before I leave? over here. Okay, there's that. Shibuya Records. This is a shop. What can I buy here? Nothing I need. Ooh, I can go into the shop. This is like, this looks like Tower Records, honestly. Hmm. Which is a, you know, music store I used to go to back in the day. Oh, wait, I found something. A metal. Oh, God. Jim K, whatever the frick that guy's name is. He's a douche. All right. No, no, I didn't want to come back here. I wanted to go back to... Right, anything here? Anything here? I already walked over there. Yeah, let's go back. Right, let's go back to the Kana. Oh, 
is going to be a case. Uh, on the board. New case added. Scramble pentagram. In an, an occult research club, Shibuya. Legend of the Shibuya Hirasaka. Need your help verifying it. I get a panic barrier. I don't even know what the heck that is, but okay. So you're the president of the Inoden Occult Research Club, correct? Yes. My name is Meiko Kusho. Uh, what have you got for us today? Well, I was wondering if you could help run an experiment to test an urban legend to see whether or not it's true. Oh, I like the sound of that. It's not something we get around to every day. Anyway, what legend do you have in mind? It's called the Shibuya Hirasaka. And it goes like this. At the Shibuya Scramble intersection, there are five hills, each of them going into separate directions. If you split the five people up, uh, one on each road alongside those hills, then you have them all head towards the Scramble intersection as they sing the Hirasaka song. If everyone makes it to the center of the Scramble intersection at the same time, right as they finish singing... What, do their wishes come true or something? No, a dead person is brought back to life. Huh, can't say I've heard this one before. Reminds me of one of those old Shinto stories. I can see what makes the legend so appealing, though. You have to make it to the center through that constant crowd all while singing. Pulling it off sounds like no mean feat. Indeed, we've tried it at the club several times, but we've always bumped into people or get held up by traffic lights. But we've heard rumors about your organization, so I thought I'd see if you could help us somehow. Rumors like what? Oh, like how the detective agency in Akano deals with occult things and has supernatural ties to another world. And if you go to it at 2.22 a.m., there is a door to the other world that shows up and stuff like that. I know we work in the shadows here and all, but to think we're so infamous to have people make up urban legends about us. Wow. Don't take it the wrong way, but still, if we could prove that the legend is true, it could be well, a real boon to my club. What do you think? I know your main work here is hunting down ghosts and spirits, but will you do this for us? Wait, huh? Hunting down ghosts and... Where do you people even come up with this stuff? Now you've really got me curious. Well, my assistant doesn't know a thing about it. Yeah, I don't know where I heard it either. <laughs> Silly me. Don't worry about it. We'll take up your case. We'll need a little bit of time to get ready, so... Would you wait for us elsewhere in the building? Oh, thank you so much. I have other members coming too, so I'll just be outside waiting for them. Looks like we've got another weird case on our hands. But it, a case is a case. What are you going to do? I'm going to start preparing for our Shibuya Hirosaka experiment. Why don't you go talk to the other club members and learn more about the legend? Okay. So what are your friends like? They're cool. Ryo Tian Yeah. There you go. They're cool. Alright. Have you ever heard the lyrics to Hiri Saka song? It goes like this. To hear a curse, to see it even worse. The depths of Shibuya, it's where we'll where we all must cross. When you feel alone, down you must go. When you feel low, down you must go. At the bottom lies a secret hidden world, but woe to thee who find the entrance there. For it, for if you make it, you only meet despair. You only meet despair. You have to sing that while heading towards the center of the Shibuya Scramble intersection for the legend of the Shibuya Hirosaka to work. Okay. Are there other members that I need to talk to? You. Okay. Shibuya is filled to the brim with hills no matter where you look. There's Konosaka, Masaka, Organasaka. 
Really, you could say that Shibuya is like the valley of all of Tokyo. And I just don't mean geographically either. There's just so much information, energy that flows into it from all sides. May thinks that's why Shibuya is so popular to begin with. Okay. Uh, are there any other members? Or... Let's see, um... Are you, I'm wondering if they're all on the first floor. And apparently I didn't unlock that one place. I thought I did. Is there only those two? No, there's gotta be more than two. Are you a member? Hmm. Why am I wearing this maid outfit? Because I have to get back to work once we're done here. I came here because May really needed enough people to help out, but I can't say I'm otherwise super eager about the whole thing. I mean, there was a girl who actually died doing this, you know? Apparently she was doing everything for the Shibuya Hirosaka. Not for you. Doing everything you do for the Shibuya Hirosaka and got hit by the truck right when she started crossing the street. Creepy. I just want to hurry up and get this over with so I can leave already. Okay, so you don't care. That's three of them. No, if I remember correctly, I need to find. I'm guessing I need to find a total of five of them. No one here, no one there. Why are they all just scattered throughout Nanako, Nakano? I, I don't know, but whatever. Okay. Where the heck is the last member? Mm. Oh, there you are. There are five specific kills that you have to use for Shibuya Hirasaki. Uh, Dongezaka, Hun Kamura Dori. Koen Dori, Miya Masuzaka, and Meiji Dori. If you look at them on the map, they even form a pentagram. What do you mean you don't see that? <laughs> a truck in an accident. But woe to thee who finds the entrance there, for if you make it... You only meet with despair. Alright, when you get it all set up, get all the club members together and take them to Ogunkyo Shibuya. I'll give the command from here. Meanwhile, I want you to join in and help perform the Shibuya Hidesake as one of the five people. Interesting. I don't know why the music just got so intense. Right, can everybody hear me? We're now going to commence to verify the legend of the Shibuya Hidesake. I've hacked the cameras at the scramble intersection, but I'll be watching all of you from uh, giving you commands as necessary. Keep your eyes and ears peeled for you to be ready for anything. Now let's get started. You hear the curse, you see it even worse. The depths of Shibuya is where we all must cross. Doing great, keep up the pace, Lily. I need you to speed up a little bit more. When you feel alone, down you must go. And 
you feel low, down you must go. How about take the Tabuya uh, Scramble Crossing, Traffic Lights should cooperate too. I went and rigged it to work in our favor. Okay. At the bottom lies a secret hidden world, but woe to thee who finds the entrance there. For if you make it, you will only meet despair. The only meet despair. Did everybody make it? We all did it. We all made it here at the same time. Yeah, I guess we did it, huh? Yep, without a doubt. What the? There's nobody here. Where did everybody go? You're right, there aren't cars around either. Looks like we've lost contact too. Wait. What's that? Uh oh. Creepy girl. Let's go talk to the creepy girl. Can we go talk to the creepy girl? Yeah. Hello? Does anyone pay attention to me? Or maybe they actually do notice me. Uh oh. Where the heck did she go? This is some Langolier level stuff, you know? Everything's quiet. No one's there but just us. Whatever will we do? Hello. I can't live here anymore. I can't live here. Live and be here anymore. Oh god. This is gonna be a little bit heady. And a little bit heavy. And I get the feeling that, um... Bad things happened. So I'll... There she is. Well, who are you? How long have you been here? I'll die and remain here. Here at the bottom of Shibuya in the other world. She vanished. Oh god. She's just coming out of nowhere. What's going on here? Where did you come from? Oh. Uh. What am I seeing? Hey. What's going on? Come in. Do me. Look out. Oh, oh, God. Truck would have hit you. Are you alright? What happened? Fill me in. What was all that? Now everything is back to normal. Yeah. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. No answers. Just, just weirdness. We owe Detective uh, Matayoshi a lot for helping out again. Not only did he restore calm, but he also took the truck driver in for questioning. Apparently that driver didn't see any of you until right before you all were nearly hit. But that's where it gets strange. The crowd in the intersection saw you all the whole time, but nobody responded to their warnings. It's like you guys couldn't see or hear anything that was going on around you. Actually, yeah, that's how it was. We didn't know there were still other people around until your assistant spoke up. And would this girl happen to be the high school student you saw there? Yep, that's her. That's the one for sure. Well, that definitely settles it. What do you mean? Who is she? She's the high school girl who was killed three months ago in an accident at the Scramble Crossing intersection. She died for an accident? For real? Yep, she was even hit by a truck. But that doesn't make any sense. We saw her with our own eyes right in front of us. She came back to life. Don't you remember? That's how the legend of the Shibuya hit her suck goes. So, what you five saw back there was the dead brought back to life then. I don't even... I did a little research. Shibuya today is a valley that is cut off from the Shibuya River, which itself now runs under the Scramble intersection. Rivers are common borders in myths and religion between the worlds and the next. That's... Uh, there's the Sanzu River in Japan and the River Styx in Greece. I'd say you guys got caught up in one of those places today. 
There are a lot of names you can call it, but in the end result, this is the same. Anyway, this case is closed. We set out to prove that Shibuya Hiraka, Hirasaka is real, and we did. Really? You're just going to... Leave that girl alone? Is that what you want to ask? You may be confused about our role. Don't forget, we're not ghost hunters. We're not exorcists. That's not what we do. We're cybersists. No more, no less. I would appreciate it if you remember that from now on. Stay safe on your way home, and don't get into any accidents for real now. Huh. That case is over and done with for now, although I know you didn't get a chance to really use your powers. Uh, but I figured if you had use for them in front of those kids, that would just spawn another urban legend. <laughs> I guess that's true. If I kill everyone, that'll make me lucky. And if everyone dies, that'll make me happy. Creepy. That is complete. All righty then, everybody. This is where I'm going to be ending this particular episode of Digimon Cyber Sleuth. I hope you all enjoyed, and I thank you so much for joining me. And we will continue on in the next episode. More than likely, this might have something to do with the continuation of the story. Either way, we'll see in the next episode. All right then. Bye-bye. Well then, everybody, that's another video down. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I do appreciate your view and your time. And if y'all want to join in on the content and the fun, please do check out these links right here. We've got merch, we've got a Patreon, and we've got so much more. Alrighty then, y'all. Have a good one, and bye bye simple fact that heat must always rise. Let us link our hearts and hands as we take unto the sky.